Well, welcome back, everybody. Students from all across the state are back in school officially today, uh, if not already the last couple of weeks. And this year, it is the first full year with AI like Chat GPD readily, uh, GPT readily available for students. Our Nick Monticelli went to Northville to get an idea of what teachers and staff did to prepare for a school year filled with artificial intelligence. Raise your hand if you There's no doubt teaching has changed dramatically since you and I were in school, but the change artificial intelligence is bringing changes the game more than anything ever has. Wait, what do you this Jessica Harris is a sixth grade science teacher at Hillside Middle School in the Northville District. She says some of her colleagues are afraid of AI, but she is embracing it. Our job as educators is to kind of embrace these things and see how it can enhance what we do. The question really is what change will it bring? What can it do that helps and might hurt education? Northville administrators have been searching for those answers. Both Hillside Principal Bill Jones and Northville Superintendent R.J. Weber believe AI is best used as a resource for teachers. Um, it's an assistant, it's a collaborator, uh, it, it's a place to generate and get ideas. We asked Jones to give us an example. Can AI make a lesson plan for any teacher on any subject? Jones showed us using Bing's AI. You're a fifth grade science teacher, you need a, one, I'll, say, I'll say a one day lesson, one day lesson on dinosaurs. So, you know, as it spits out, right, it kind of starts with the learning objectives, you got a video about like, you know, what is a dinosaur, your key vocabulary, you know, all of those things. So it, it gives me at least a place to start. So let's talk about the elephant in the room here, AI being used for schoolwork or essays. On ChatGPT, I can write, I'm a sixth grade student, write me an essay on dinosaurs and their impact on mammal evolution. You press go and in comes your essay. So the question really becomes, is this cheating via plagiarism? When a kid is taking that work and saying, I have created this and I'd like you to assess it, no, that's plagiarism. Um, I think if a kid uses that to generate ideas and then takes that work, rephrases it, puts it in their own words and then turns that in? No, I think that's research. I think that's using a resource that's out there. The biggest challenge and the greatest fear amongst educators isn't what AI can do, Ooh, it's what it can't do, which is teach students how to learn. I think the downside is a fear that I would have is that uh, that we all somehow lose the, the joy of the struggle in trying to find out the answer to a question. I want to teach my kids that learning has value. Learning is important, and this is a tool to help. Now, certainly, you could push the button and turn it in. Maybe I'll catch it, maybe I won't, but you're not going to learn anything. Uh, so I think How do you get high school kids or middle school kids or any K through 12 kid to care about that? I believe if we teach our kids to not only consume and use information ethically, morally, intentionally, and most importantly, I think that the biggest gift that we can give any of our students that we service and, and work beside is that, that notion to stay curious. What's the next question, not what's the next answer? And that right there will take teachers and parents to help students understand shortcuts are nice, but not if you don't understand how that shortcut works. The same goes for learning. It's not about finding the answer. Um, it's about so how in, to find so the kind. answer. We're preparing kids for jobs that don't exist. And so how can we do that? Well, teaching them how to learn, teaching them how to ask questions, find answers, use resources. That's going to be the way that we, you know, prepare them. That was wow. Nick Monticelli there. You know, very, the key word I heard, learn and learning, if they do that, they're not learning it. Right. And eventually that's going to catch up to you. Yeah, it is going to catch up to you. You think about it. I mean, although AI wasn't around when we were growing up, there are kids that are going to try and take shortcuts. They're going to try and cheat. That That is true. This is just a new tool for those types of kids, but hopefully most kids will use it as a tool yeah. in addition to a lot of other things to be better, smarter students and curious, as you said. It's just a research tool, kids. <laughs> that's right. Part of the research. Search. But they are not getting the struggle like we did. <laughs> yeah, come on, you got to really put some thought into uh, BSing your English book report <laughs> like I did when you didn't read the uh, book at all. Come on, let's get real. That takes
takes skill. It's a lot <laughs> of skill. <laughs>